We'll be doing a little bit more work with the properties panel from now on, so I'll just adjust my UI a bit to get more space. Let's continue by using some stamps to add details by using fill layers. Like before, we'll just add a folder. I'll name it height, create another fill layer, and place it into the folder. And we'll just name this down. This time in the fill layer properties, we're going to turn off everything except height by alt clicking on the height channel. What this does is disables the other channels for this particular fill layer. And we'll just create our usual black mask. The way this height value works is zero means nothing. If I push it into the positive, it'll extrude out of the geometry. And if I push it to the negative, it'll go inwards. Keep in mind when you're jumping back and forth between adjusting this value and painting, you want to make sure that your active selection is either on the fill layer or the mask. You can see this by the blue outline. So I'll just click on the black mask and start painting. And it looks like as if I'm carving into the mesh. If we raise the value to a positive number, we can give it the effect that it's coming out of the mesh. Now for those of you who are not familiar with normal maps, what we are essentially doing is painting normal map data by the height map. Nothing is actually happening to the physical geometry itself. In the shelf below, I have a bunch of basic alphas loaded in as default. We'll try this arrowhead alpha and just use it by double clicking on it. We can start stamping onto the model and we can adjust the brush settings such as size and rotation over by the properties panel or we can also change the size by holding control right click and dragging left and right we can also change the rotation by holding control left click dragging up and down on the mouse now a little trick if you're using a tablet with pressure doing stamps you may run into an instance where the size of your stamp doesn't match your brush alpha so if this happens, just turn off the pen pressure next to the size slider. Okay, so let's clear out our mask and start detailing this model. Before we do, we can always work in symmetry to speed things up. We can do this by pressing the hotkey L, and you'll see the symmetry line appear in your model. The next bit here is just a bit of a time lapse of me going through the alpha library, choosing some height stamps to detail this out. Now I encourage you to try different stamps out and even adjust the height level for a stronger or lesser effect. I love working this way because it gives the impression that I did a lot of modeling detail where in reality, I'm just sitting at my desk, stamping away. Okay, so we have our negative stamps. Let's add another fill layer. We'll name it up, disable all the other channels except height. And this time we'll push it to a positive value and we'll just add our black mask. So we'll just go through the same process using alpha stamps as we go. As you can see, you can quickly and easily detail a model this way you can always go back and adjust the height value at any time. Personally, I try to approach painting the details on thirds of the model and always leave areas of rust. Now, just because it's easy to add detail, you don't want to overdo it. I'm also using the hotkey F5 and F6 to toggle between perspective and orthographic as I go through this. When you're happy, we'll just hit Control shift e to export our textures. Back in Eevee, make sure your selected object material is in the shading area, and we'll just hit Alt-R. And like magic, we have a more detailed model. Cool. So in the next step, we'll just add a bit of personality by placing decals. 